can't see. You can't see. Do you? Is this poison working on him? I'm not sure it is. Okay. Let's try this. This is my new pistol. I think I'm shooting a desk ornament. Okay, what? Okay, quite like that. Gilbert, stop jumping on my head! Please! See, you're making people laugh there at me! No enemy nearby. Resume systematic wandering. There's an enemy up there giggling at us! A stupid enemy giggling at us! Okay. Ah. Uh, Argon. What, like... The gas? What, what, what? Those computers... Green... Synapse Alpha and a Grendel. That's what I'm holding. They're actually worth quite a bit. Weapon case. Rattler. I think I've already got one of those. Okay. Project Pet Shop. My staff and I just arrived this morning and I'm not surprised to find the facility completely operational. As usual, the United Colonies spared no expense. It's all very exciting. Inspirational, really knowing you have the full support of the decision makers. I have to admit, I was surprised to learn that the lab is cl a closely guarded secret, located in Freestar Collective Space, no less. So we're in Freestar Collective Space right now. But we go where the work takes us. Xeno Warfare is the evolution of armed ground conflict. We know it, and the Freestar Collective surely knows it as well. Forget what the calendar says, this is 1942 all over again. We may as well be the Manhattan Project, racing to create the game changer before the other side. So, to that effect, I am overjoyed to officially announce Project Pet Shot Phase 1 is a go. Okay, you know what? I'm going to read the rest in a second. A little unnerving, knowing there's someone above you searching for you. Not good. Where, where are you? Where, crawling in. Okay. I don't feel good about this. Oh, I really didn't feel good about that. But, sorry. You guys have been trying to kill me. This. Okay, it is a S SMG, so. Did you get. Did you get him? Okay. Is that bad? All right, look. I just want to go back and... Boom pop ruba. Okay, let's just... I'm, I'm looking for ammo and maybe slightly better weapons at the moment. I also just... I want to know what's going on here so I know what to expect. Okay, let's see. Arthropods. The arthropods are, in a word, incredible. Calm, easy to work with, and they even allow themselves to be fitted with the NCIs without much trouble. Synchronization has thus far been nearly instantaneous, and their control fidelity has remained in the 95-97% to 97 range. They passed all environmental survivability tests as well. Hot, cold, low, or no oxygen. I'm pretty sure these things could operate effectively in any environment. 
Most promising is how well they've already integrated with the Red Devils, who have joined us for a period of extended training. After all, they'll be leading the creatures into combat, so it's critical they establish a war bond. Success! After months of testing a variety of extraterrestrial species, I'm overjoyed to report that we have finally found a species that will serve as the backbone of the United Colonies Xeno Warfare Division. The arthropods are everything we'd hoped for and more. Imagine a pack of alien beasts suited to any terrain, capable of instantly obeying any command. I have designated these beasts Obedientis Pes, but we shall just... we shall call them Stalkers. I think it might finally be time to crack open the bottle of Chateau Avignon 2170. I wonder if the reason they were hostile to me was this project. Probably, actually. The Red Devils. The Red Devils' progress with the Stalkers has been nothing less than amazing. Now I see why they're so highly regarded in UC military circles. None of the rah-rah bullshit you see from the regular grunts. These are focused professionals. After another week of training here in the pet shop, I'm confident they'll be ready for a live test in the field. Mickelson suggests I contact Colonel Kasarov and find out where his marines grabbed that spider from the early trials. He wants his comeuppance, but then it would make for a good trial. Okay. Right. Did I miss any bodies? At least. Yep, that, that person's body. Miss that person's. I found a heart. Okay. Where is he? Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. Can I shoot through there? Nope. Okay, let's have a look what I got out the Don't have a lot of ammo for that. Don't have a lot of ammo for that. Okay. Maelstrom already got... Whoa, okay. Yes, beware the... Synthetic nutrient med pack. Did you pick med pack? All right, let's just everything else we. Please. We got someone trying to jump our score. Hold them off here. My broken sets up on the roof. I'm on it. No one's getting through. One up there. Got the height. Wait, what was that? Oh, I was gonna wait for you to walk past that and blow that up, but it. Okay, no, tell you what, let's let's make them come across to try and shoot us, Vasco. Make them come across. Or stand there being a giant. Oh, come down. All right, fair enough. Okay. Are they d is the other one down as well? Where? Okay. Anyone in here? Okay. Probably want to keep remembering that they were doing all sorts of weird experiments here, and there is still a chance that I might meet this whatever. What was it called? Terramorph? Okay. Did you have ammo? Yes, you did. You had ammo. Nice. 
Pirate Assault Space Helmet. Don't mind if I... Okay. Okay. Oh, I... Wait, 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 wait. I... I leveled up. Just... want to find... S chlorine. I want to find somewhere where I... Won't get disturbed. Okay. What do I... It's... It was... Right! Skill point... You received one skill point to spend every time... You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend a skill point to rank up the skill. The top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a minimum number of skill points in that category. Okay. Combat. Social. Physical. Oh, I can do that. Physical. Fitness. Use up all available oxygen 20 times. S boxing. Stealth. Current rank zero. Unlock. Adds a stealth meter. You are 25% more difficult to detect when sneaking. Increase total carry capacity. Wellness. Unlock maximum health. Okay, social. This is commerce. In the settle systems, free market economy, almost anyone with the right skill set can open and run a successful business. Ooh. The ones further down, they're all locked. But I should possibly consider them a little bit. What's this? Gastronomy. Access to brand new worlds means access to brand new ingredients, and there is almost no limit to the delicious foods and drinks a talented chef can prepare. Persuasion. In the settled system systems, the nuanced ability to listen and discuss can often accomplish far more than simply shooting first and asking questions later. Okay. This is scavenge scavenging. There are those who can find just about anything, and their success is usually dependent on knowing how and where to look. While not entirely honourable and certainly not legal, it is nevertheless occasionally necessary to discreetly remove property from someone's person. Alright. Ballistics. Kill 20 enemies with a ballistic weapon. Right. Oh. I need to kill two more enemies, I think. Before I can take the skill in this, I guess. Rank up. It's greyed out. It's locked. Complete the previous challenge. Right. Oh, and I can see what all the basic... All the, all the uh, ranks do. Just more damage, more damage, more damage. Weapons range. 30%. That could be useful. Dueling. Lasers. Personal laser weapons are in widespread use across the settled systems. Really? I've not found any so far. Uh, pistols. Pistols do 10% more damage. 25%. Whoa. That's a jump. 50% more damage. Pistol kills grant 25% critical hit chance for the next five seconds. Okay. Interesting. Shotguns. 10, 20, 30. Shotgun kills grant a small chance to stun additional targets with shotguns for a limited time. All right. Over. Ah, heavy weapons. Demolitions. Incapacity. Right, so your usual fare, I guess. Science. Astrodynamics. Advanced technology is one thing, but it takes skill, patience, and a little bit of love to coax even more capability out of the ship's grav drive. All right. Geology... Medicine, you know what, I could probably do in medicine. Research methods, surveying, surveying. Humanity now has access to untold alien worlds and the ability to decipher all that data while on the ground has become an essential skill set. Unlock adds an optional zoom to the hand scanner and scan distance is increased by 20 meters. Surveying, now that's what an explorer would one, isn't it? Boost pack training. Boost jump ten times while in combat. Right. You can now utilize boost packs. Using a boost pack expends less fuel. Boost pack fuel regenerates more quickly. Doubles previous... Oh. Okay, well I need... I can't use that anyway. And honestly... Security. 
While the standardized digital locking mechanism is renowned for its security, any code could be broken with a proper training. Rank 1. You can attempt to hack advanced locks and two auto attempts can be banked. Okay. So I need ranks in this to be able to take advanced expert master level uh, locks. Oh. Expend a digipack to eliminate keys that aren't required to solve the puzzle. Five auto attempts can be... Oh. I'm really wanting to take this just because I hate the idea of leaving behind something that is locked. Targeting control systems. Missile weapons are favoured because they lock onto an enemy ship, but an intimate knowledge of tracking systems can make them even more effective. Oh, I, I, I like the idea of that. There was also piloting. You can now utilise ship thrusters. Couldn't I utilise that before? Okay. Increase ship turning rate and maneuverability. Unlock the ability to pilot class B ships. Oh, God, I want this. Okay, so I definitely want this. I definitely want this. I'm going to want more of these. I feel like I absolutely need ballistic weapon systems. I feel like I need this, though. The security, I feel like I really absolutely need to be... Oh, but I want this as well. I want the zoom. I want the zoom. I so want the zoom. Optional zoom. Oh. <sighs> Alright, you know what? No. Right now, I feel like this is going to be slightly more useful. At least... I think really what I want to make sure... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this. I want to unlock the challenge for this so I can start working on this and take these later on. As much as I do want the scan. All right, I'm doing that. Pick five locks. Right, so. Yeah, okay. Oh. Look, I don't like the idea of... leaving stuff behind. Also, will this help me a little bit on this? Possibly. Right, let's have a look at this. Start sl auto slot. What does this mean? Okay, that covers this, this, and this on the inner ring. This covers this, this, and this on the inner ring. That one covers the outer ring. I think. I think I got this. There. 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 And there. Nice. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Hayden Wind's project terminal. All right. Fragmentation grenade, fragmentation mine. Credit stick, 179 credit. Another. That covers the close inner three, and that. Co right, so those two will cover the inner ring. Let's see. That one's got that side done. And voila. Right, I think. Yep, there we go. Another one. Da Furious Eon. Each consecutive hit deals more damage. Nice. A lot of crit. Oh, okay. Got myself a new. Weapon. Let's take a quick look at that. Poison Maelstrom. Right. Furious Eon. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not that impressed with the Grendel. It uses a lot of rounds, doesn't do very much damage, and it's got the same range as this thing. So I think I will probably just... Yeah, keep that. Did we get anything else? Nothing else, as far as I can see. It's new items. What? 
Argon, boom. Okay, rhubarb. Restores two health and plus eight percent O2 recovery for three minutes. Chlorine, yada yada. Fragrant heart. Improves fortitude and pain tolerance. Okay. Pirate assault. He yeah, I don't want to look like a pirate. I don't want to look like a pirate. And honestly, it's, it's worth a bit, though. I'm going to bring it. Going to bring it. Going to be getting you to carry some... S oh. One thing I did. Frag grenade. I kind of want to try the frag grenades out. Okay. Lovely music. War. We're at war. By establishing the colony of Vesta, the Freestar Collective have forced the UC's hand. The unmitigated Gaul. Thinking they could establish control over the fourth star system. Such a flagrant violation of the Treaty of Narion. Our diplomats tried to resolve this peacefully, but the Council of Governors wouldn't listen to reason. Apparently they claimed that Vesta was not a colony, but rather just an insignificant farming outpost. Nice try. Wasn't this a while ago? This was a while ago. Yeah, this is like 20 odd years ago. Our diplomats tried to resolve this peacefully, but the Council of Governors wouldn't listen to reason. Apparently they claimed that Vesta was not a colony, but rather just an insignificant farming outpost. Nice try. By all accounts, the Red Devils and Stalkers worked in perfect unison, and the results were everything we could have hoped for. No Red Devil or Stalker casualties. Vesta's defenders were apparently taken by complete surprise, which greatly contributed to their fatality rate. 93%. This is a great day for the Red Devils, and a great day for the United Colonies, and a great day for Xeno Warfare. Note, no, it is not lost on me that this classified facility is actually located within Freestar Collective Space. So goes the great game. Okay. And so they've been here since then until these Crimson Fleet showed up. Oh, no. Wait. The, it was the Terror. I think the Crimson Fleet showed up shortly after whatever this... Was it Terror Morph? Got out, probably? I've got to keep in mind that there may be something called a Terror Morph on the loose. It's finally time. After a number of successful missions with the Red Devils, the Stalkers have proven to be the exact weapons we hoped for. So it's time to expand our operations. Mast has finally approved the next stage of this facility's operation. Project Pet Shop Phase 2 will now commence. Stalkers. We've officially stopped working on the Stalkers. There are enough creatures in the field to serve the Red Devils who haven't been here to train in over a year. If they need more, they can easily gather some on the, for the planet and fit them with NCIs. From this point onwards, our focus is Phase 2. Heat leeches. Throughout the settled systems, from civilized worlds to backwater bush towns, pilots have to deal with these nuisance... The nuisance known commonly as heat leech. I had my own unpleasant experience four years ago at the New Atlantis spaceport. My transport was delayed while the deck crew removed a few of these filthy little things from the aft thrusters. They're attracted to heat, feed off it, through some endothermic process, so thrusters are perfect place for them to hide. They can take a full afterburner burst with no ill effects. No ill effects on the heat leeches, that is. A ship with an infestation can generally expect a 3 to 5% drop in thruster efficiency. Okay, do not let that thing get on my ship. Working with the heat leeches has been interesting, if not entirely satisfying. We have 11 of them in the lab, and by all accounts, they're completely innocuous, save for their heat siphoning properties. But what if there was a way to weaponize them? Perhaps artificially enhance their heat siphoning to completely and instantly disable a ship. Or even better, to somehow reverse the process so that they transfer their own heat into the ship. Someday, today I fear we lack the means to do either. Jeez. Okay, come on, let's get back on mission. Lab one. I'm going backwards. Yeah. Yes, I'm going backwards. I need to get up there, I think. Right, yes. And I took everything you had, I believe. Impact driver. Oh, we have definitely got a lot of uh, looting to do.
Digipick again and storage. <laughs> that seems awfully like Terramorph! Thanks to the UC Marines, we now have the second piece of the puzzle, a fully grown alpha predator. According to my research, a group of astrogeologists astro made first contact nearly 100 years ago on some remote moon. The creature did not, didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. There's currently no record of how it got there, so it was sheer cosmic chance that the astrogeologists found it. Or rather, it found them. Scientists were quickly quick to categorize it as Oskissio Machina, roughly killing machine. The UC Marines tasked with taking it down chose a simpler name, Terramorph. I read the official record once of the eight person squad, only two of the grunts survived, and one of those lost one of those two lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be in Xeno Warfare. NCI fitting today. Today we fit the Terramorph with the NCI. If I'd Experience with the grunts first dropped off the creature is any indication. Our sedation window will be around 15 minutes. We'd better make them count. Yeah, you didn't. Dr. Wynn, emergency slate. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck! When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Okay. It ran deeper into the facility. The com relay. Where's the com relay? Okay. Hmm. Curio um can I No, I don't I just I wanted to no, never mind. I guess that's not happening. Ammo case. Oh, okay. More digipicks. Right. Okay. Focus on the inner ring. Focus on the inner ring. That one, I think I can already see where that's going. That's the outer ring. Yeah. I th that's the outer ring. That's the inner ring. Okay. Focusing on the inner ring first definitely seems to be the way to go. Let's just double check. Yeah. Oh. Okay, more ammo. Don't mind if I do. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. Either you've not been paying attention, or you've been paying attention and you're snarking. Oh my god, Chuff! One of those things. Can I scan it? I can't scan it. I want to scan it. It scared me half to death. Digipick, Chunks Cola, Cod's Crater, Drink Pack Water, Kodos Crater. I'm guessing that's more food. Dr. Win Emergency Slate 2. I mean, I'd feel sorry for you, but you created the weapons, and we're taking great delight in everyone else dying to them, so... There is a sort of poetic justice going on here. I mean, I get it, it's war, you're trying to win it, but... Caseless shotgun shells! I need a shotgun! Okay. I need a shotgun. All right. So, okay, I think that's 
the outer ring, and there we've got the inner. Right, outer ring first. Nope, 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 nope. There. And then, there we go. And, oh wait, ammo, and a lacerate rattler. Cornered. Damage increases as health decreases. Lacerate. Randomly applies a bleed effect to the target. Nice. Okay. Um. Roof axe. Didn't they talk about someone going to the roof? I believe they did. Before they do that, let's re... Right. So I've, I've had a modified rattler. And this is the Lacerate Rattler. It's not as accurate because this one's got a reflex sight and a compensator. But this one, oh, you know what? It's purple, right? We, we, I mean, it's, it's basically, it just goes without saying. Yeah, we, 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 we've got to. Okay. I'll tell you what. I don't have a lot of ammo for that, so we probably should be using this anyway. Okay, let's go and see what's on the roof. It's going to be a Terramorph, isn't it? It's going to be a Terramorph. Science. Great. Oh, this is not a good sign. Disassembler Grendler. Deep mining space helmet. Zero wire. Okay. Are you hearing ships? I'm hearing ships. Let me just... I just got... Disassembler Grendel. Oh, fuck. I got too many... Too many things. What does this one? 20% damage against robots. Okay. But I want to try the Furious Eon. All right. Okay. Okay. You gotta what? be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? Ah, uh, that's right, I killed Barrett to tell you about... Okay, what's your problem with Barrett? What is your problem with Barrett anyway? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Okay. So, okay, that's right, I killed Par Barrett to tell your pirate experience. Yeah, I killed Barrett. So you best back off, because you don't want to mess with me. Oh, no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the Frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The Frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. No, he's telling the truth, Mike. Persuade, there's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before people get hurt. Attack them. Time to make the settlement. Look, he's telling the truth. There is no treasure in the ship. Trust me. I've stored a bunch of junk in there, but it's not really worth fighting over. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. By more people, I mean more of your people. You're not talking us out of this score. To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails, but the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Oh, okay. You have it wrong. Constellation is an explorer's group. They aren't treasure hunters. Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. 
I just made it past your entire crew. You want to try your luck against me. Okay, that's a tough one, but... You have it wrong. Constellation is an explorer group. They aren't treasure hunters. Yeah, no, you do. You do have it wrong. We're not. We're 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 not treasure hunters. They aren't. You sure? No, pretty pretty damn sure. That doesn't have anything on it. You're chasing a fairy tale. I just made it past your entire. Look seriously. Don't I automatically make this now? I just made it past your entire crew. You really want to try your luck against me for no loot? So you got past a few rooks. Who cares? Oh. Okay, so it doesn't work that way. The ship doesn't have anything on it. You're chasing a fairy tale. No, oh, that, that can't be right. Okay. Look, you can come aboard the frontier right now, see for yourself. No, you can't. Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. The Frontier Creeks. When it turns anyway. Neither of us wants to wear it. Yeah, no, I'll tell you what. You want to trade ships? Sounds good to me. Frontier Creeks when it turns anyway. You're willing to give up the ship? Just like that? Yeah, it's a piece of crap. I can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old Constellation ship for nothing. Get out of here. Correct. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again, you're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Yeah, I know. I, I know. But I don't like that map. And he threatened me. Okay? Okay. Okay, I want to shoot the pistol. Whoa. Oh god, I forgot that the gravity is gonna be an issue. Wait. He does what? He shouts pew pew in the middle of combat. This does Okay, this is not that impressive. Where, where are you? Where are you? Okay. All right. Yeah. For your center of mass. <laughs> oh god. God is Really not dying. There is a high likelihood of human death. Yes. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. There's more of them. Whoa. Helium. Okay, don't mind if I do. I am... Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to get over there. We need to get over there. And... Oh, I understand. You wish to kill us and take out the market. Am I actually hitting... I'm not really... Okay. Vasco? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I am. I was going to say it's time to do something stupid and dive off there like a total badass. But I actually don't think that's a sensible idea. But then I'm running out of ammo here. And I don't. These criminals really should be incarcerated. Did you jump down? Okay, that's that. That's just not doing a damn thing, is it? He's jumped down, hasn't he? All right, 
right, well, it's low gravity, I get. Problem is, is they're all over the bloody place. And I don't even have that much ammo. Vasco, where the hell are you? Where the hell are they? There's one over there. Once life expectancy. Where, 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 oh god. It could, but it didn't. Where, are, where the hell? That's you, that's you. Where, where the hell are they? Where the? Do you have ammo? No, you got alcohol. Where? Where? Oh, I see. Oh god. I am. Get up there, we get up there! Oh god, this is getting stuck on it! Oh, 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 god, I wish I could fall faster than that, I really do. Alright, I don't need to take a path, I can... Oh god, oh god, I'm I'm not oh. Okay. Ablative deep mining space suit. Okay, modified Grendel. Holy shit. Yep, gonna need some gonna need something. Alright. Well, that took a lot of ammo and Okay. Well, we came to do what we just did. I was going to say we did what we came to do, but it came out the wrong way. But I'm afraid we're not done here, Vasco. Not by a long shot. Liquid-cooled trucker pack. Okay, don't mind if I do. Because I want... Oh, can I keep... I can keep doing it. I can get... Oh, I'm loving that. Yeah, right. So, we're... Um, do you want to meet me on the... Uh, on the... On the... On the side? I may be... Sometime. Coachman. Okay. I... Think... We have... Shotgun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have shotgun. <laughs>